Hey guys, it's Bonnie. Today I am here to film a video all about my unfinished series. I believe I did a video like this a long time ago on this channel and obviously things have changed since then so I figured it was time for an updated one. I sort of have this list separated into two sections. The first one will be series that I intend to finish and the second one will be things that I don't think I'm gonna finish or I'm on the edge of finishing or I'm definitely not finishing. And all the series that I talk about are series that are either completely finished, like all the books are out, or there are books out in the series that I haven't read yet, but it might not be finished. But it doesn't include series that just aren't finished, but I'm caught up on. So like Throne of Glass or The Bone Season, something like that. So without further ado, let's go. The first series that I definitely intend on finishing is the Every Heart a Doorway series by Seanan McGuire. I think it's the Wayward Children series is the name of the series, maybe. I think these are more companion novels than a full out continuous series, but nonetheless, I plan on finishing it. This book was really good. I don't think I loved it as much as everyone else did. I think it was like a four star kind of read, uh, but it was still really great. And I have the next one on my TBR shelf, so I'm definitely gonna be continuing. The next series I plan on continuing is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I read Cinder a long, long time ago, so I might have to reread it or just find a really good recap somewhere. But I do have Scarlet and Cress on my TBR shelf, so I do plan on continuing this series. Cinder was pretty good. Again, this is a series I don't feel like I love as much as other people. I think I gave Cinder like four stars. But I know this series gets talked about so much, and I think people say Cress is usually their favorite. So I'm I'm gonna definitely at least continue with Scarlet, see how I feel then, and hopefully eventually one day finish the whole series. The next series is a series I feel like I've been reading like my entire life because I kind of have been, and that is The Chronicles of Narnia. I've read books one through three depending on what uh, reading order you read them in. I've read The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, of course, and The Horse and His Boy. And the ones I have left are Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. I'm more than happy to take my time with these because I can just like pick them up and read them pretty quickly. I like to read them during like readathons and stuff. It's been a while since I have read another book in this series. I think because I just really didn't like The Horse and His Boy. But the next one I have is Prince Caspian, so I know that one's probably going to be better. And I'm excited to finally freaking finish this one day because I've literally been reading these books since like fourth grade. Next I have the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs. This is a very beloved book on booktube so uh I know. Basically I read Miss Peregrine's again a very long time ago and I really enjoyed it. I think I maybe gave it five stars even but then I just never continued because I'm a flop and I was like uh do I really want to continue it continue it after all this time but then I went to the Tahara Mafi and Ransom Rig signing and I bought Hollow City so that I could get to the signing line so I pretty much have to continue and finish it now. I am interested I just don't remember a lot about Miss Peregrine so I'll have to do a little recap refresher somehow some way. The next two are series that I just started so I'm definitely going to be finishing them. The first one is The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. I just recently read The Kiss of Deception. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars and yeah it was good so I'm going to continue. I just haven't at the time of this video. Who knows by the time it goes up maybe I will have continued. The next one is one I again just started. I'm actually still reading the first book but as of right now I'm more than halfway through. I'm almost done with it and I'm pretty sure I'm going to continue and that is The Shiver series by Maggie Stiefvater. Now I almost didn't read this book or not this book but Shiver. This is the next one but I almost didn't read this because I didn't hear really good things about Shiver. Everyone says it's like the worst Maggie Steve Otter book that they hate it blah 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 and so I almost didn't read it but I was like you know I should at least give it a shot so I got it on audiobook and I'm honestly enjoying it like I don't see why everyone trashes this book it isn't anything new necessarily I feel in its genre it's like a werewolf book but I mean it's an older book and for the time it was I'm sure it was just really great like if I would have read this in middle school I would have been all for it but even now I mean the love interest is sweet the characters are just good like it's a little juvenile and the story isn't like I said anything new but I don't see why y'all hate on this series I'm just gonna say that. And the last series that I definitely plan on finishing is the Illuminate series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I read Illuminate last year, really liked it just haven't continued yet. I know the last book just came out like 
I don't know, like just came out. So I'm definitely going to continue this soon now that I can finish the whole trilogy. Now we're moving on to the series that I don't think I'm gonna finish. Um, yeah. The first one is <laughs> arguably one of the biggest series on booktube. It is one of the biggest series on booktube and that is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I've read the first three books and like half of the fourth one and it was a very long time ago i obviously got stuck on the fourth one didn't continue i've been like tossing and turning over whether i want to finish this series i know that if i did i would have to start at the beginning and just completely reimmerse myself but i don't know i'm just i don't know if it's just not for me or if maybe i would reread it and like it but if i do reread it and like it do i want to get down that rabbit hole with the bajillion books that are in this series. I don't know. It's a big commitment. I'm sure some of you will tell me to read it, but as of right now, I don't think it's gonna happen. Not gonna get rid of the books though, just in case it changed my mind. <laughs> Love being a hoarder. The next book I'm not taking out because I'm too lazy. It's on the bottom of a bunch of books, but it is the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. I read the first two books in this series, Red Queen and Glass Sword. I thought Red Queen was fine, like nothing amazing, three star book, but I was like hoping that it would get better. And so I picked up Glass Sword and it didn't get better, it got worse. I do have a review of Glass Sword if you want to watch it. It's a video that I still get comments on to this day because I was honest. I just really did not like Glass Sword. It took me like a month to read it. It put me in a very big reading slump. So I don't plan on continuing with this series. I know people love it, but I don't, sorry. The next book is in that same stack. So again, I'm just gonna put a picture, but it's The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I read this first book, you know, a while back when everyone else was reading it, I guess, maybe a little after. It was okay, I think I gave it four stars, but like in my heart, like thinking back, I don't think it would be a far, far. I don't think it would be a four star book anymore. And I've heard that the sequels are not very good. So I don't plan on finishing this series. The next series I don't plan on finishing is the Grave Mercy or the His Fair Assassins trilogy series. I don't know how many books are in this. I read this one last year. It was fine. It was just meh. Like, I, I don't know. I don't want to continue, but I love this cover for some odd reason. So that's why I wanted to read it just so I could be like, I can keep it. It's also one of those great fantasy books that are just like big and floppy and it's just aesthetically inside. Mm. The next series I won't be finishing is another popular one here on booktube. It's the Winner's Curse trilogy by Marie Rutowski. I read the first book very recently in February and I didn't like it. I gave it two stars. It was boring. I didn't have any connection to the characters and I just don't see what everybody else sees, I guess. Sorry. Mm. The next series is an oldie and that is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I feel like no one's talking about this series anymore. People are like, what the, what, why, who is that? I read this back in high school, you know, right after. I read this back in high school, you know, right after like the Hunger Games divergent phase, whatever. <laughs> Not that the Hunger Games was a phase for me, obviously. But I really liked it at the time, uh, but I never read the third book. I read the first one. I read the second one when it just came out and then when the third one came out I never got around to it and at this point I would definitely need to reread to finish it and I don't think I got time for that so and the last series that I'm gonna talk about there's a few others I could mention but it's like I'm so far gone from it that like it doesn't even matter but I don't think I'll be finishing the Corman Strike series which the first one is The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Gal Gal Galbraith aka JK Rowling. This book was just okay. I didn't love it. I thought it was a little slow. There wasn't enough action in the plot. Uh, I didn't love the main character. I love one of the side characters, uh, but the main character not so much. So yeah, I do like this cover though. So, you know, aesthetics. These are all of my unfinished series. Let me know if you think I should finish any of the ones that I said I'm not gonna finish. Uh, I don't know if you'll convince me, but maybe. And let me know some of your unfinished series because I'd like to know what have the people not finished? We all have them, I think, unless you just don't read series, uh, then maybe you don't have any, but. Anyway, till next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.